The Mungo on S stream in the heart of Palmerston North is at the centre of a community-led project to rejuvenate the region's waterways. Organised by the environmental network Manawatu, project manager Nelson Harper gathers volunteers to help pull rubbish and waste out of the streams. So over the last year I've been working with the Plastic Pollution Challenge we've been cleaning up the rivers. So we've been getting in with heaps of volunteers and schools and businesses and actually pulling out rubbish from the streams and litter. So over the last year we've pulled out over 120 bags of litter plus some big items like tyres, washing machines, vacuum cleaners, car parts, all kinds of stuff. So the big issue with that is that if it stays in the stream, when the rain comes through, it picks up all the litter and flushes it all out to the Manawatu River. The cleanups are running as part of the Plastic Pollution Challenge, aiming to protect these vulnerable environments. So these streams all head into Manawatu River, which goes out to Foxton. So there's a, a big bird sanctuary there, and it all gets caught up in there and then eventually goes out into the ocean. Schools and businesses have come on board to help, with a dedicated group of volunteers working year round. So I've been in charge of this project for the last year and it is so important to have these riverways clean and having the community coming together to actually make an impact. Because with the expansion of Palmerston North, we really want to keep it as clean as possible and learn from our previous mistakes about managing the waterways and just having it beautiful and something we can take pride in. City Council know all too well the importance of the work being done here. Palmerston North needs new houses. Uh, we need more houses for our whanau in the city. And there is a huge risk that we uh, you know, degrade our waterways as a result of doing that. Uh, past processes, and you can see the stream just behind me, um, have uh, squeezed our streams up. Um, you know, they're channelised, the water quality is very degraded, uh, they have no ecology, um, the fish communities are dysporporate. So it's, uh, we need to not uh, re repeat that mistake into the future. With more than 6,500 houses expected to be built in Longburn in the coming years, the location of potential housing developments must be considered carefully. The Mangaone stream being a historic waterway isn't the best place to build your house even now, even though the stream doesn't exist there. Um, there's high risk of liquefaction uh, if you build on there. So instead of um, engineering and you know completely destroying that landform, it's going to form the key feature through the city. The stormwater detention areas will be um, stormwater ponds to store water uh, in large rain events um, and then that water will then transfer out over wetlands um, to then clean the water so it uh, discharges down into the Manawatu um, hopefully uh, in, in not a degraded state. And as Palmerston North continues to expand, these committed locals say it's important to look long term when it comes to the environmental impact. A man made system that uh, filters out the, the oils and the um, petrol that comes off our cars, um, drops out all the sediment and crud from the waterways, you know, all the stuff that comes off your tyres and your houses. Um, after that it will be discharged into this um, treatment train approach where, um, you know, it, it sits in these basins and then moves out and can be treated through the wetlands. So um, these, wet, these wetland systems, these treatment trains need to be living, so they'll be planted with indigenous plants, um, and protect our communities from flooding, but also ensuring that we discharge good quality water down into the Manawatu River.